The Razier Kingdom is in trouble as the Demon King has repeatedly attacked and threatened the peace of the land. In a desperate move, the king summons four heroes to help save the kingdom. Three of the heroes possess cheat-like abilities, while one of the heroes, Mukota Tsuyoshi, has a unique skill. Online grocery. Well, isn't it useful? Mukota feels like he's not cut out to be a hero as he just wants to live a simple life. After receiving 20 gold coins, Mukota sets out to gather information and ends up in an inn. Using his skill, he orders some food and drinks from an online supermarket website, which appears on a status screen. The order arrives immediately, and Mukota realizes how useful this skill can be. On his way to the town of Kiel's, Mukota hires an escort team called Iron Will, led by Warner, to take him to the Fenan Kingdom. Along the journey, Mukota makes friends with the team members Vincent, the swordsman, Rita, the scout, Raman, the mage, and Franca, the healer. Mukota shows off his cooking skills by whipping up meals for the team using his magic stove and ingredients from the net supermarket. The team is shocked and impressed by the delicious food while realizing that they feel stronger after eating it. One night while camping, a giant monster named Fenrir suddenly appears, demanding Mukota's meal. Poor pup might be hungry. In a hilarious twist, Mukota keeps cooking while Fenrir keeps eating and complimenting the food. Eventually, Fenrir is full and Mukota is exhausted. To Mukota's surprise, Fenrir wants to make a contract with him, obligating Mukota to cook and serve him food from now on to which Mukota ends up agreeing, despite not wanting to form any contract. Fenrir, now Mukota's familiar, asks for a name to which he dubs him Fel. The next day, Mukota prepares a meal for the Iron Will party, but realizes they are running low on red boar meat. He asks Fel to find some meat, and to everyone's surprise, Fel returns with a huge rockbird, a B-rank monster. Mukota uses the rockbird meat to make a rockbird teriyaki with onion soup for the party and Fel. As they arrive at the border of the Fenan Kingdom, they encounter numerous soldiers waiting for Fenrir. One of the soldiers questions Mukota about his contract with Fenrir, who has the power to destroy a country. Fel states that as long as no harm is done to him, he won't do any harm in return. Mukota warns Fel that if he causes any problems, he won't get any food. The group successfully enters the kingdom, but Mukota doesn't plan on staying long as he wants to travel and make money with the ability of Net Supermarket. However, he must join a Merchant's Guild or Adventurer's Guild. Mukota is then invited to Marcus Rindle's residence, but it turns out they just want to use Fel's power. After being threatened by Fel, the servant runs away. Fel reveals that the only match for his power is the ancient dragon, and the two of them had a fight 400 years ago. The journey of Mukota and the Iron Will comes to an end, and they must say goodbye. Mukota joins the Merchant's Guild, starting from the lowest level. He buys rice at the net supermarket and uses red boar meat to make dinner, which greatly satisfies Fel. In the morning, Mukota sells salt and pepper to the Merchant's Guild, which are of high quality and are bought at a high price. He then joins the Adventurer's Guild, starting from the G-Rank. He takes a G-Rank mission to gather herbs and make steak for Fel. Later, Mukota uses appraisal on Fel and is shocked to see Fel's high scores. Despite Fel's powerful abilities as a monster and familiar, Mukota still sees him as a glutton. Mukota's first job as a part of the Adventurer's Guild turns out to be a collection of herbs, Meanwhile, Fel goes hunting for meat to make a meal for them. Fel uses his skill, Sora, to protect Mukota from any monsters while he collects the herbs. Mukota uses appraisal to find the herbs and finishes the task with ease. He then orders spaghetti ingredients while Fel returns with the rock bird. The spaghetti was smooth even though there wasn't much meat and Mukota was happy to be able to eat food he was familiar with. Mukota is surprised at how many powerful monsters Fel has hunted and delivers all the monsters to the Adventurer's Guild. The secretary is impressed with Mukota's haul, and Fel gets the attention of the secretary, who blushes and acts differently around him. I think she just adores fluffy dogs. Mukota receives some orc meat and sells the rest for some gold coins and magic stones. He makes a pork pick at a dish and is pleasantly surprised at how good the orc meat tastes. Recognizing the importance of exploring new areas, Mukota halts at an arbitrary location and cooks a meal for Fel. Grateful for the bounties Fel's assistance brought him, Mukota decides to treat Fel to a generous serving of meat including Japanese black wagyu steak, much to Fel's delight and excitement. Fel claims that consuming Mukota's food enhances his strength, giving him the confidence to defeat even the powerful ancient dragon he battled previously. Taking advantage of this, Fel employs his Sora ability to safeguard Mukota while he goes hunting. Fel leaves for the hunt and fights many powerful beasts, but is able to defeat them with one attack. Suddenly, he confronts a Chimera, which used to cause Fel a bit of a problem, but because of Mukota's food, he is able to defeat it with a single lightning attack. Later, Mukota arranges a bed for himself and drifts off into slumber. 
In the morning, Fel brings back even more powerful monsters. Upon seeing this, Mukota decides not to serve Fel Japanese Black Wayu steak anymore because of the tremendous increase in Fel's power. The day starts with Mukota preparing a delicious dish made from cockatrice meat, a delicacy that Fel has hunted down. As a skilled monster hunter, Fel uses his magical abilities, particularly the wind magic that he has been blessed with by Ninrir, the goddess of the wind, to track and defeat his prey. Mukoba is impressed by Fel's abilities and wonders if he can use magic like Fel. Fel decides to teach Mukota how to use magic by letting it flow through his body. It is a challenging process at first and it takes some time for Mukota to create a fireball. On the second attempt, Mukota finally manages to create a fireball, but he cannot seem to hit the food can. Fel realizes that practicing without a purpose slows down progress and suggests that Mukota gain battle experience to improve his skills. To accomplish this, Fel drives Mukota to a nearby village full of goblins. Despite being frightened of the monsters, Mukota uses his newly learned magic to fend off the goblins. After some time, Mukota's strength wanes and he faints from exhaustion. However, Fel is blessed with immunity to all poisons, sickness, and status ailments by Ninrir, the goddess of the wind, which makes him immune to any kind of harm. Fel comes to Mukota's rescue, defeating the remaining goblins and saving him. Later, Nimra appears, revealing the extent of her influence on Fel's life. Determined to find their way to a new town, Mukota and Fel set out on a journey, but they are stopped by some guards. After presenting his guild's card, the guards finally allow them to enter. At this point, Mukota finds that Fel can use telepathy to converse without speaking since they have a familiar contract. Mukota goes to the town to find a map because they can't keep wandering around without a direction. While Fel stays at an inn, Mukota goes to the bookstore and the library to find the map but fails to find the map. In the evening, Mukota returns to the inn and orders Yakitori and Tonkatsu for Fel. The next day, Mukota goes to a pub to find a map and meets some people. Mukota introduces himself as a traveling merchant and asks the three people for some information about the kingdom and the map. The three people whisper that they actually have a map, which is a special rare map, so they ask for one gold coin for the map. Mukota successfully buys the map for one gold coin, but when they leave the pub, other people laugh out loud at Mukota. It turns out Mukota was ripped off as these maps are sold at the Adventurer's Guild, and the price is just one silver coin. According to the map, Mukota and Fel will go to the east, a country next to the sea. In the ethereal realm of the Wind Goddess, Mukota and Fel were immersed in a delectable feast surrounded by the sweet aroma of heavenly delicacies. As they indulged in the sumptuous spread, the Wind Goddess couldn't help but ponder the nature of Fel's contract with Mukota, a human who had managed to strike a deal with the goddess as trusted familiar. Feeling satiated, Fel led Mukota to a nearby lake, propelling him through the lush forest with astonishing speed. It was clear that Fel had an insatiable craving for fish that day, and he used his otherworldly powers to compel all the fish in the river to float to the surface in a state of near death. Using his appraisal skill, Mukota diligently sorted through the catch, avoiding any poisonous specimens while selecting the biggest fish of all, a king trout, for Fel's culinary pleasure. With the fish in hand, Mukota quickly set to work, preparing a mouth-watering meal for himself and Fel, complete with a refreshing can of beer. As they savored their meal, Mukota's attention was drawn to a tiny, adorable slime monster that had recently come into existence. The young creature possessed a remarkable ability to dissolve anything it touched, and Mukota couldn't resist forming a contract with it naming it Sui to reflect its slimy nature. With newfound inspiration, Mukota, who had recently discovered his ability to wield earth magic in addition to fire magic, began practicing relentlessly, creating rocks and launching them from his palm. But despite his efforts, his stones were not big nor accurate enough to hit their target, leading Fel to ridicule him for slacking off in his training. Mukota's focus shifts to Sui, who is rapidly growing in power and size thanks to its insatiable appetite for trash. To celebrate the slime monster's first proper meal, Mukota arranged a grand feast with delicious dorayaki and green tea for all. As fate would have it, Mukota was soon granted a portion of the wind goddess's blessings, greatly enhancing his magical powers. However, the goddess insists on receiving worldly sweets in return, especially chocolate, this time making Mukota's duties as a prayerful confectioner all the more challenging. Ninru needs to look out for cavities, I guess. Eventually, after fulfilling his obligations, Fel extended an invitation to Mukota to embark on a mysterious journey, the details of which were yet to be revealed. Eager to explore new horizons and test his newfound magical prowess, Mukota accepted the invitation with open arms, ready to embrace whatever adventures lay ahead. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified about our quality uploads.